All right, welcome to the first episode of Django Package Review. Each episode in this series is dedicated to reviewing one specific Django package, and you can actually find all of the Django packages that we'll most likely reference on djangopackages.org. And it tells you here that Django Packages is a directory of reusable apps, sites, tools, and more for your Django projects. If it's not here, then we'll just reference it from GitHub, but all of these are also on GitHub, so this is where you'll find them. And the point of this video is to introduce you to how we're going to be going through these packages and how we're going to maintain the code for this series. Now, I've created a repository called the Django Package Review, and the link for that I'll leave in the description of this video. But how it's going to work is that there's going to be a branch for every episode because every episode will be dedicated towards a single package. And so merging it all into one master branch with all the different packages will eventually just become messy. But we also don't want to have to create a repository for every episode. And so we're going to create a branch then for each episode, which will be a lot easier to work with. And I'll show you how you can follow along, join in at any episode, start with the code that I started with and end with the code that I ended with. So right now there's nothing, but I've got the link here and I've cloned this repository and I've got it open here in VS Code. And what I'm going to do to start off with is just create a Django project. We're going to be using the latest version of Django, which right now is version three. We'll see what the exact minor version is. So first we'll just create a virtual environment. So I'll say virtual ENV and I'll just call it ENV. All right, now I can just activate that. And then we can go and say pip install Django. So in this case, the latest version is 3.0.4. All right, now I'll just create a Django project. So I'll say Django admin start project and we'll call it package review. Okay, so there it is. And I'm also just going to create a .git ignore file. And I'm gonna search here for Python git ignore so that we can just get a kind of boilerplate for what not to include when working with Python. So I'll just take this entire stuff over here there we go and if we just refresh this then there we go so we only have seven changes so we're not going to include any pycache or dot pyc files so we can actually just search for that cool so this is going to help i'm then also going to make migrations so let's run manage.py and actually just make sure we're in the right folder all right so we'll say migrate for those initial migrations. And there you can see this is a SQLite3 file, but I'm actually just going to move everything out of there. So let's just call this source. And I prefer to have everything in the root folder. So just like that. And so if we try and run the server now, now I'll actually need to go back to be in the right directory. So let's run the server. And there we go. Okay, so the server's running. And at this point, what I'm going to do is commit these changes and push it to the repository so that we have a base Django project to work with. It hasn't been edited in any way with any packages. It's right out of the box. So I'll just call this initial and then we can push that. Right, so if we come back here, refresh this, then there we go. All right, so we've got the initial files for this series. And now let's just take a look at how you would follow along if we were reviewing a specific package. Let's say it's Django Crispy Formers, for example. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call git checkout and I'm going to create a new branch and we'll call it Crispy Forms. And I'm going to give it the episode number of, let's say, number one. This isn't going to actually be an episode. This is, again, just for example purposes. So now we're on episode one, Crispy Forms. And whatever changes I make from here are going to be pushed to this branch. So let's say that I'm going to go and create the readme. And in here, I'm just going to add Django package review. And here, I'll just add a description. Right, so there's my change. And now I'm done reviewing this package. So I'm going to say added readme. And I'm going to push this which in this case is going to go to one crispy forms. So I'm going to say, okay. Now, if I come back here, we've got the one crispy forms branch, which I can go to. And so there it is. So the change is now here for this episode. And when I go to episode two, I'm going to check out back into master. So I'll say, get checkout master. And here I am. And then 
This file is now gone and I'm back to the original files of this project. So over time, there's going to be many branches that are created here for all the different episodes. And so if you want to check out the code for a specific episode, then the starting code is always going to be what's on master branch. So you're going to clone this repository and that is going to be the starting code of the video. It's always going to be these files. And so you can then follow the tutorial and code along in this branch. And by the end of the tutorial, you should have the code that would be pushed to that specific branch of the tutorial. If you want to check out the finished code, then all you would need to do is again, clone the repository and then call git checkout the name of the branch. So in this case, that was one crispy forms. And there it is. If you think there have been some updates since you've last pulled this repository, then you can just call git fetch. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull all of the files from the remote repository into your repository. So you should be up to date according to what's over here. Lastly, just a word on issues that you get when following these tutorials. If you do have any kind of errors, don't leave them in the comments because it's going to be much more effective if you come and raise an issue on the repository. So to do that, you just go to issues, click to create a new issue, and then you can give the title and leave all the information about the issue that you're receiving. And this is really what GitHub was built for. So if you do have an issue and you have followed the tutorial line by line, you've cloned the repository and compared it with your local work to see that it's exactly the same and there's still a problem, then leave a comment and either me or someone in the community will get back to you on this issue. And so other than that, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the rest of the videos in this series. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.